NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Well, time right now is 1217 on this Friday afternoon, the first day of December. And Andrew, I can't believe you're yes. seeing 50s. I know some of our region right around that 50 degree mark, so it certainly is a mild and comfortable walk outside at this uh, lunchtime hour, but we are tracking some rain on the way, so it's not uh, the perfect forecast the remainder of your Friday. Uh, and then heading into the weekend, this is how things are looking. So certainly a lot of clouds both days. Tomorrow, certainly a dreary day. We'll have some areas of lighter rain showers and drizzle. And then on Sunday, we're looking dry during the morning, but later in the afternoon and evening, we have another system coming in with some steady rain at the onset and then it starts to flip over to some snow in the mountains and even the wider valleys could be talking some wet snow in time for the Monday morning commute. So we have some impact weather for later on Sunday and into Monday. Some heavy wet snow looking likely at this point we're thinking it could add up to about six inches or more in the mountains and more mixing and rain expected in the valley locations. So some tough travel will be likely even some another round of some power outages due to this heavy wet snow, especially in the higher terrain that looks to be the area most impacted by this. Storm tracker right now though has high pressure to the north and an incoming area of low pressure to the south and west. So that's shifting in a round of rain showers starting later this afternoon into the evening. This is the first system before that second one gets in here later on Sunday. So across our region, we have increasing clouds right now, mainly dry the leading edge of the rain still in central New York, but it, it, it is a pretty mild afternoon. We're in the mid to upper 40s region wide, even some lower 50s towards southern Vermont, 53 right now in Bennington. So here's a look at the rest of today. We have clouds sticking around as well as those mild temperatures, but we have some steady rain shifting in right around 5 p.m. into the Champlain Valley and some lingering lighter rain showers during the overnight. There could be some uh, snowflakes that mix in in the mountain locations uh, heading into this evening as well. Now here's a look at the day tomorrow. We have clouds sticking around some areas of lighter rain showers and drizzle and cool temperatures around 40 degrees for that high heading into Sunday again we're mostly dry during the morning there may be a few lighter rain or mixed showers in northern areas first thing but by the afternoon especially five six seven o'clock we have a steady swath of rain shifting in and it'll start to flip over to some wet snow in the mountains during the evening but it's really overnight Sunday night into the Monday morning commute that we see a big flip over to some heavy wet snow so we're thinking it will be slick on the roads during commute time and then by later in the afternoon and evening still some lingering lighter snow showers will be around. So this is the early thought of our snow totals. Again, we could see a half foot or so in the mountains, the Green Mountains and Adirondacks looking at about four to eight inches right now. Could be some locally heavier totals. Even the wider valleys like the St. Lawrence Valley and Champlain Valleys could see two, three, four inches out of this. So certainly some impacts expected overnight tonight. Some lingering rain showers, temperatures generally staying above freezing. And then the five day forecast again, we're pretty gloomy to start the weekend. Some light rain and drizzle on Saturday. We have that uh, round of rain and wet snow starting later on Sunday and wet snow lingering into Monday, especially during the commute time. But we're drier the rest of the upcoming work week, but chilly temperatures in the low 30s. Sarah Beth. <laughs>